Hello there, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up because we're about to dive into a bombshell revelation that could send shockwaves through the royal-obsessed community. It seems like the golden couple, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, are facing a storm of financial scrutiny that could make even the most riveting soap opera plots pale in comparison. In a shocking twist, the INRS has reportedly taken Megan into custody after exposing 11 new bogus companies with a whopping 13 Delaware bank accounts. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more, but stop right there. Before we disclose all the juicy details, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Believe me, what's coming up next is worth waiting for. So now, before we unpack the scandalous details, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room, the apparent unraveling of the Archwell Foundation. The charitable organization, named after the adorable Prince Archie, has seen a jaw-dropping plunge in donations. The figures are staggering, a plummet of £9 million compared to the previous year. The Archwell Foundation, once hailed as a beacon of philanthropy, is now hemorrhaging funds, leaving many to wonder if the Sussex's empire is on the brink of collapse. But that's not the only bombshell. The INRS, the ominous bringer of financial justice, has reportedly turned its scrutinizing eye toward Meghan Markle herself. Rumors are swirling that Meghan is now under investigation as the IRS digs into the labyrinth of 11 new companies and 13 Delaware bank accounts that the power couple allegedly set up. It's a tangled web of financial intrigue that has even the most diehard Meghan and Harry supporters raising eyebrows. Let's take a closer look at the nitty-gritty details. According to reports from an unnamed source, Macon and Harry have orchestrated a complex network of 11 companies in the tax haven state of Delaware. Witnesses claim that this is where the couple's army of business and legal managers have been hard at work, incorporating companies and setting up trusts since April 2020. But why Delaware? Well, experts suggest that Delaware's flexible business laws and low personal income tax rates make it an attractive destination for those looking to safeguard their financial interests. Now, the shock factor reaches new heights as we learn that the Sussexes have a whopping 13 Delaware bank accounts. This begs the question, what exactly are they hiding? The Sussexes' financial filings offer a glimpse into their post-royal life, and it's a far cry from the fairy tale image they've been painting. It appears that more than half of their new companies are set up in the entertainment sector, bearing names that hold sentimental value for the couple. But here's the kicker, why set up shop in Delaware? Well, Delaware doesn't impose income tax on corporations registered in the state that don't conduct business within its borders. It's been labeled a domestic tax haven, and the Sussexes seem to be capitalizing on this loophole to the fullest. Shareholders who don't reside in Delaware are allegedly exempt from paying taxes on shares in the state. It's a financial game that some may view as clever maneuvering, while others might see it as a crafty way of avoiding financial responsibilities. As we delve into the suspiciously named companies, Cloverdale Inc., Oran New Publishing LLC, Pekka Publishing LLC, Hampshire LLC, BAB Holdings LLC, and Nehe Holdings LLC, to name a few. It becomes apparent that each holds a personal connection to Meghan and Harry. Whether it's a nod to Meghan's humble upbringing or a subtle tribute to Princess Diana, the Sussexes seem to be intertwining their personal history with their financial ventures. In the grand scheme of things, it's not uncommon for elites to create non-profits in Delaware, exploiting the legal loopholes that allow for a significant portion of donations to be used for operational expenses. It's a well-known tactic, but the question remains, how much of this financial maneuvering is legal, and how much is a cause for concern? In conclusion, the plot thickens as Megan finds herself in the crosshairs of the IRS, and the Archwell Foundation faces a financial freefall. The Sussexes, once celebrated as the epitome of modern royalty, now find themselves at the center of a financial storm that threatens to expose the cracks in their carefully curated image. So, what do you think about this news, guys? Share your opinions in the comments below and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.